Hey guys, welcome to this video. Okay, so I will dedicate this to showing you uh, how the simple share work on the simple share project. All right, so that is what we are going to do. Let me go back and uh, let's see this. This is the simple share project. All right, this is the simple share project. So we are going to move around it and see how it works. By the way, you can see um, all of this worked out well. All right, so they checked, the checker checked. So we are going to see how the share, the, how share works. What is all about the features and the simple share we created and you are going to create how it works, all right? This is more like a series. I'll ro run preceding videos really going into the codes, all right? But for this particular video, I'll just show you round what has been created or what, uh, yeah, yeah, partner actually, what you've created and how it works, okay? So basically, um, first, what is a share? Just a rundown, I'll have another video on that. A share is a program that provides a command line interface for interacting with an operating system, all right? It creates a command line interface. By the way, what we have here is what we have here is the Linux shell, okay? This is the Linux shell. What this project wants us to do is to create our own shell, more like a simplified version, a simple version of the Linux shell that do basic command, all right? So in this simple shell we are expected to create it, at least it should be able to list files, all right? It should be able to list files. It should be able to change directory. Okay? It should be able to change directory. It should be able to handle uh, errors. All right? So it should handle end of line uh, condition. That's control D. It should handle command line with argument and handle paths. Um, it should have the exit feature and exit status. It should handle variable replacement use the dollar sign and support the history file and support file input. At least it should be able to bring out a prompt for you to type, okay? Basically, it should have um, these features, okay? So the share should allow us to interact with the operating system by entering a command, such as what you have here, this uh, Linux share. Um, in, in a moment, I will, will enter into the share that has been built that we created. So uh, for Linux, you see this ILS, clear all these features. So Linux have that. So um, a share help you interact with the operating system. You can open a share, you see a prompt, more like we have here after this um, hash uh, symbol, you have this prompt for you, waiting for you to enter. So I can type anything, you know, that's a prompt prompt allow you, um, it takes in input, allow you impute, you know, a command. So when we enter a command, the shell interpret the command and passes it to the operating system for execution. So you enter the shell, we check around, okay, this command, do I have it in my file? Do I have that executable file, executable to execute this command? So the shell goes around. It checks, more like, okay, let's demonstrate with using the Linux um, shell. If I say click, let's say click, click. If I say click, so bash, bash, this bash shell returns this click command not found. All right, so this is to tell you that the click command does not exist. That executable is not in the bash shell itself. I don't know if you get it, but if I say ls. It returns something, all right? And if I say clear, it's not telling me that it's not fine. It, it worked. And if I do um, MK, MKDIR B to make this directory, it worked, all right? And if I list, I see, okay, sorry. And if I list, I'll see my base here created, all right? So, uh, basically, 
Basically, for the shell, there are set commands. They are called executable. They are files, executable. So it has it in its memory. So if you enter something that is not in the memory of the share of the bash share, it's not going to work. So if I say um, a change, I type change, and I want it to execute, it's going to tell me that command not found because change is not one of the executable files in the bash share, so it's not going to work. So I believe you understand that basically. So um, we are going to write about now, see, um, see what we had, the shell we created, and some of the features that it has. All right, basically you have to look through uh, this, go through this um, general uh, requirement and all of that to see how you will create here. So basically, so let me see the into CD into the sh simple shell. All right, CD. So I have that. Let me uh, zoom in. All right, so I believe that's better now. So um, this is the simple shell, and if I list, these are the files I have here. So uh, I'll have so many executable here. Let me remove this. All right. So ls. All right. So this the these are the files I have here. So these features, this shell, at least um, is able to handle errors. It's able to handle end of line condition that's control D. Basically, this shell is able to hand, handle the command line with argument, handle path, all right? Then it's able to support the easy features like you, you can see here, all right? The easy features, okay? Then you can see other things that it does. Uh, handle buildings, okay? Then get input, all right? That's a prompt. Get input, okay? So basic, basically, it can, okay, you have a prompt here. So basically, this share can take accept uh, some of these commands, all right? It's a miniature, just a simplified version of the bus share, okay? It's a simplified version of the bus share. So let's see what, how we can enter into the share. So I created an executable here, okay? An executable from the requirement. You are expected to create this. After you create, after creating your shell, they expect you to compile with this. So this is the compilation code. You compile with this code to see um, how it works. You compile with that code. So after compilation, it's going to return. If it's well built, it's going to return this. Let's try compiling with something else. All right. If I so that you really see that, okay, the code compiles, all right? Copy. I already compiled with this here requirement, so I'll compile with uh, something else. Let me just name it. Share. How does that sound? Share, all right? I'll name it share. So I'll hit enter. It's compiling, it's compiling. Let's hold on. Okay. All right. So it has returned. So let's see. Let's list again to see. All right. You can see you have share here. This executable file share after compilation. So let's go in. We can um, enter into any of them. HSH or share is just the same thing. So let's try HSH since that is what you will definitely compile. That's what is given to you to compile. Dot. Okay. Dot slash. All right. So, as you can see, guys, uh, we have entered into the shell that we built. The simple shell we created, that is, you can see this dollar sign, all right, and this cursor, all right. So, we have been able to enter into our own shell. We have left the bar shell, okay? We have left the bar shell and entered into the shell that we built with this, okay, with this. If 
I try to use a command such as exit, you see I've returned to the bash shell. Okay? I've returned to the bash shell. So let me do that again. HSH. Okay, you see I've gone back to the bash shell. So can I can I execute some command, some basic command inside this simple shell that um, we have created? Let's see. So what are these um, basic commands you would like us to use? I've used one, by the way. I've used exit. So uh, what are the basic commands you would like us um, to use inside this simple shell that you created? So let's ls to list files and directories inside this simple shell. So if I ls, so you see, ls inside my simple shell that I created, a miniature of the bash shell, has been able to list files and directories for me. So that means it's working and it's still waiting for me to enter a prompt. All right. So if I do, let me use the command clear. All right. I believe you, the, you of course, the command clear is uh, a, an acceptable, a recognized bash command, a share command. So if I clear. So clear, I'll be able to clear my screen. All right. So uh, let me use mkdir make directory all right and i'll create a directory called uh, test i'll just call this test okay i'll create this test let me use our cap test so mkdir test let me see if it works all right so i've entered less ls in our bash, in our simple shell, to see uh, if we have test. So, as you can see, guys, test directory was created inside our own simplified shell. Okay, test directory was created. So, can I see the into um, test? Let me try do that. See the into test. All right. So. I've seen the to test. So let me list files and directory inside share. So it returned nothing because I've not created any file. So let me try create one inside this test directory. All right. So vi make okay vi. Let me name my file file one file one dot c. Okay file one dot c. All right, you see, it has taken me into the VI um, uh, terminal. So uh, I can write anything I want to write. Um, basically, okay, basically include or uh, include include. Let's say std stdio.h. All right. Let me just say uh, okay. Int main. I don't want this to return any argument. Done. Okay. Let me just. I don't want to. You know, take a lot of time. I wanted to write a simple program, but hey, let's just stop here. Or that Okay, so I just basically have something inside that file. So I exit column wq. All right, so I have a file inside the test file I created inside my simplify shell. So um, if I list list files, can you see that? It's telling me that I have a file. So let me create another one. Sorry, I'm having fun. Naturally, you can join in. Naturally, vi readme.md. So this Let me just type. I'm typing. In 
inside my created miniature miniature simple simple shell all right so i can exit column wq all right so i have basically two files now inside this i have two files so you can see that the simple shell created is actually working it's working so uh, let me use another command another recognized um, shell command let me remove one of the files if remove is working uh, remove file one dot c All right. So if I list again, you see that has gone. So basically, this shell, this shell we built, is able to take in command. Is able to recognize the um, set of basic commands. So you see the ls mkdir make directory exit. Okay, is able to recognize all of this because we gave them all these features in all of this. We gave them. We gave it all of these features. So. Again, let me remove the other one, readme.md. If I list again, you see that it's empty. All right. So this is what I want you to see. And if I exit, it has taken me out of my simple shell and gone back to the bash shell. Okay. So this is it, guys. This is it. And as you can see, I want you to, um, I'll do some follow-up videos so that you can create your own share and it's really fun and see how it works and see how it works. So basically, this will be the end, mark the end of this particular video. All right. I'll see you in the next one.